day today to be weather aware with the flash flood watches and a marginal threat for severe weather, right? Yes, yes, a low end risk for some severe weather today, especially this morning when we have these heavy downpours that are pushing through. And it's all because of the rain that we saw this weekend because right. that's prompting the flash flood, uh, well, exacerba exacerbating this flash flood threat because of uh, saturated soils, you know. And the rain hasn't done have anywhere to go. It uh, can pile up and lead to some flooding. Here's a live look over Birmingham this morning. Clouds very low to the ground, obscuring Red Mountain off in the distance, back behind the skyline. Very uh, warm for a January day this morning. 65 degrees. The temperature at the airport. The dew point one degree below that. It's 64. That is as close to saturated as you can get. That's why the relative humidity is at 97 percent. And Dew point in the mid 60s, that's very high for a January day, that's for sure. All thanks to the south breeze that is lifting a lot of moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. The stationary boundaries acting as a focal point for a lot of these downpours to really develop because we have converging winds in the low level of the atmosphere helping to wring out a lot of that moisture uh, in the form of heavy downpours. And a lot of the rain now is falling across most of our northwestern counties. Marion County has been seeing it for the past hour. It's now pushing over into Winston County as well. A couple lightning strikes just to the uh, east of Haleyville over the past few minutes. And now the rain is beginning to push into parts of Walker County, Fayette County, and over into Lamar County as well. It's lighter for the moment in downtown Fayette and Carbon Hill, but it will definitely turn heavier as the downpours push down to the southeast. And that flash flood watch, again, in effect for everybody in our viewing area, one to two inches of rain locally, maybe three inches, and again, saturated soils. That flash flood watch in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, most of the heavy rain will be lasting over the next few hours, but after lunchtime today, I think we'll get a little bit of a lull in the activity, especially later this afternoon. But again, heavy rain for the rest of the morning, turning lighter and across our southern counties by 5 p.m. this evening. And then overnight into Wednesday morning, we stay just cloudy, maybe a few sprinkles here and there, and the rain coverage doesn't look as scattered or as heavy for tomorrow afternoon. That's the good news. But it will definitely be staying fairly wet over the next uh, over the next few days. Again, 65 degrees in Birmingham. It looks like uh, well, we do not have a dense fog advisory. In fact, disregard that. Only fo mainly focusing on that flash flood watch, which again remains in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Again, a rainy day ahead. Light showers for tomorrow as well as for Thursday, but not as scattered with the rain coverage and not as heavy with the rain itself. And then we see definitely a lull in the rain for Friday. Will be drier and cooler. Highs only in the upper 50s. And then we'll see more rain begin to move in Saturday. It'll be lighter, not, not to worry about any flash flooding. And then we definitely turn colder for next weekend. Lows dropping down to the 30s by the time we get to Sunday. But the sunshine comes back out. So you take what you can get this time of year. Michelle, over to you.